Simple Show explains Labor Day. It all started in the 19th century. Overworked and exhausted laborers were fed up and demanded better treatment. In Canada, laborers marched to their prime minister's doorstep and asked for their right to form unions. Oh, Canada! The march was victorious. They celebrated better working conditions with an annual parade. Peter J. McGuire, an American labor leader, was invited and thought to bring that spirit to America. And what a success it was! In New York City, protesters assembled to fight against poor labor conditions. The movement quickly spread across America. Workers gathered for picnics, concerts and speeches, rallying for eight-hour workdays and a labor holiday. Oregon was the first state to officially recognize the holiday. But it wasn't until 12,000 government forces were sent to quell a strike and two railway workers were tragically killed that pressure mounted from the American workforce and Labor Day was put on the federal calendar. More than 80 countries worldwide celebrate Labor Day or International Workers' Day on May 1st. But the first Monday of September made sense for Americans because it falls between Independence Day and Thanksgiving. This gives working families a much needed break. Fast forward about a hundred years and the Labor Day holiday has become a kind of farewell to summer. In the USA, kids go back to school, football season starts, and fashionistas hang up that little white dress. But let's not forget that Labor Day is a celebration of the labor movement, dedicated to the social and economic achievements of workers all over the world. It's evolved into an appreciation of life and well-deserved break from work. So make sure to enjoy your Labor Day with family and friends.